guys, welcome to Crypto Corner, episode 500 of your favorite video podcast where we talk everything crypto related to help you navigate safely in the cryptoverse. It's episode 500 guys, which means I will announce another giveaway. Make sure you stay until the end of the video for that uh, Ledger Nano S and hundreds of dollars worth of crypto is up for grabs. But first, let's talk about safety and surviving this bear market because I've been through bear markets twice already. I see the same things happening over and over again. In the past few weeks, there's been a lot of turbulence and crypto investors are being hit from every direction, literally. We've had regulators coming for altcoins like XRP or banning mining operations like in China and almost the entire EU. We got very close to this happening. Uh, Russia apparently also imposed mining restrictions. From the other corner, we got hit with the inflation rates and interest rates jumping to record levels. This made things worse and in the midst of all of this, entire networks like Terra and now Celsius seem to be obliterated from a mixture of market conditions, bad decisions and faulty mechanics. Some may argue that these projects were built with fundamental failures that were not fit for a bear market and you can't only thrive in a bull market if you want to have longevity. We started this week with the Monday announcement that Celsius, one of the top crypto lending platforms, had posted all withdrawals, swaps and transfers between accounts with immediate effects. This comes just weeks after the extremely painful for many Terra collapse. Their two tokens, UST, a stablecoin uh, algorithmically pegged to the dollar, lost its peg and subsequently Luna, their second token that was used to collateralize the peg, crashed to zero in the attempt to revive the peg of the UST. Of course, I'm summarizing here as much as I can. Uh, I talked about this already many times on this video podcast, so I kind of assume that you know enough about this already. Well, the Celsius token began losing value last early last week actually, already signaling possible danger and over the weekend it had lost more than 70% already of its value. So we kind of expected what would happen next, the freezing of the users withdrawals from Celsius platform and in attempt at delaying the collapse of the business. I've seen this happen before, I don't think they will revive it. Once you're out of money and you can't pay all users, it never ends well. Uh, there are talks about possible bailout negotiations with their competitor, Nexo, a company that I'm using. So we'll see if this will happen. But all of these events gave me the idea to share what I do and how I keep my capital protected at times like this. So here we go. Well, the first rule is don't hold altcoins in a bear market. Okay, I can't say that I'm following 100% this rule because even though I tried, I still got stuck with uh, several outs, namely uh, utility tokens like BNB, uh, Qcoin shares, uh, BEST token and CRO. All of these are tokens that I use to cut my fees on exchanges that I'm using. And that's the only reason why I'm holding these altcoins, but not too much money in them during a bear market. I also got some uh, Solana and Matic that I hold in my Nexo and Matrix port where I'm earning interest on this. But these are also not very big amounts. And and then I have my long-term uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum that I keep in cold storage and I don't bother trading this. Uh, but all my capital that I have allocated to trading, I have already sold into stable coins, mostly stable coins and some fiat. Rule number two is don't keep assets on exchanges, not unless I'm actively trading these assets. But at times when the market is down and I'm not seeing any signs of recovery just yet, I wouldn't really keep my coins on exchanges. I move them into either cold storage or mobile storage too, because I want them to still be handy and easy for me to access, especially if I'm traveling. I also spread my capital across several exchanges and wallets. I mean a lot of this so that I don't keep too much capital in one place. I use um, seven or eight exchanges. I use five hardware wallets. I use three uh, mobile wallets. This way I have minimum risk even if one of these gets hacked or compromised in any way. I wouldn't really lose too much money because I don't keep too much in one single account. So right now I'm moving my funds out of the exchanges 
at least for the time being. I just sent my uh, USDC into my Keystone wallet. This is a hardware wallet. I also use Ledger, SecuX, Trezor, um, but I'm actually sending my USD Tether to a new wallet that I just downloaded, Capi, because they work with the Tron version of USD Tether, the TRC20 token standard. And this means that I don't have to pay 20 or 30 dollars fee when I'm withdrawing my Tether from exchanges. I use a lot of exchanges, so if you aren't aware, USD Tether is available on several blockchains. And on exchanges, it's all the same. It doesn't really matter which version you're working with or the exchange. They support many of them, but when the time comes to withdraw it from the exchange, they have different fees for each of these different networks. So if you're working with the Ethereum network, the most popular version, ERC20, you're paying super high fees. That's why I want to use the Tron version, TRC20, to withdraw my USD and pay only $1 for the transaction fee instead of uh, 20 or even $30 that I'll be paying for the ERC20 version on some of the exchanges. For instance, Bittrex is charging me $17 fee for withdrawal of the ERC20 version. Qcoin is charging me, um, what is it, $25 fee per withdrawal. Binance is a bit better, $10 fee for the ERC20 version. However, by using the TRC20 version, I will pay just $1 on these exchanges compared to 25, you know, or 15 even. It is so much cheaper. So it really makes no sense to be using anything else than the TRC20 version. And I want to have my Tether handy for, with me while I'm traveling. I'll be away for at least two months now, starting from next week. So I still want my coins to be with me and I'm not taking with me all of my hardware wallets uh, i will take the ledger but uh, you know this mobile wallet is ideal at times like this it's a multi-currency wallet and you can store cryptocurrencies but also fiat currencies like uh, euro uh, dollar and british pound and cryptocurrencies supported right now are bitcoin bitcoin cash litecoin ether tron and tether usd the tron version meaning you can choose if you want to switch between either of these according to the market conditions for instance you might choose to swap everything into euro or dollars for the time being while you wait for the market to calm down this is what i'm doing so basically i'm transferring my usd tether from the exchange because i'm paying the lowest fee then i'm exchanging it in the app for euro or dollars or British pounds in your case, if that's uh, the currency that you're using. And they will stay in fiat. This way, I'm actually protected even in a case of uh, USD Tether problems. Because let's not forget that just a couple of weeks ago, we did have uh, quite a few issues with Tether. It started deep pegging from the dollar. Many people just uh, very uh, shortly after the collapse of UST, of the Tether dollar. Uh, so people were speculating that Tether, because it is not fully backed by the, you know, the collateral in dollars and all of that, at least for many years, there was a speculation that Tether is not fully collateralized and, and they never really proved that they are. So yeah, there are concerns about Tether and even concerns about many other stable coins that could be suffering during this bear market, during this awful market conditions. People were scared. Everyone is exiting positions and everything. So uh, it is still a lot of turbulence. And if you are worried about stable coins, then you can actually move your stable coin tether in this case into an app like copy and then swap it into um, dollars or euros whatever and wait and then when the market starts recovering or when you see that the market conditions are good for you and you want to jump back in you go straight in the app you can actually buy either of these top currencies that they offer and then, of course, if you want to diversify into altcoins, you know, when we see that out season is starting, then you move it into the exchange and you start buying some of those altcoins that are not in the app. But this app is ideal for uh, holding longer term because it's got all the top coins. I mean, for me, Bitcoin, Ethereum, that's it for long term. I'm not interested in other coins for the long term. And then when the market is down and I want to take advantage of this volatility, then of course I go into fiat. I stay in fiat for as long as I need to. When I see that we are turning the trend, I go back into Bitcoin or Ethereum and then I can send that into the exchange. Or if you're worried that the fee might be too much for Bitcoin or Ethereum, you can change again into USD Tether 
hopefully at the time USD Tether will still be okay. If it's not okay, there's always Litecoin. And then you move that into the exchange with a very low fee. And in the exchange, of course, you buy whatever other altcoins you really want to buy. So this is the best way for me. And Capi is in fact a borderless banking service, very similar to Revolut, but much more designed for crypto than Revolut. You can actually send and receive crypto with Capi, something that Revolut doesn't allow me to do. I can only buy and sell crypto in Revolut, but now I'm going to be using Capi. Their user interface is really impressive, highly regarded by top executives. It is also fully licensed in European regulations and it supports its standards. And this year they're bringing out a physical and digital debit cards. So just like with other online banks, we will be able to spend directly from our Capi accounts. That's even for crypto. It makes it so much easier than having to make bank transfers and all of that. The fees are also very low. You can see them here on the screen right now. There's no comparison to the fees that other banks are charging us. You can easily open an IBAN account with Capi. So you will basically have a European bank account and it is a multi-currency account. So you can have dollars, you can have euros and British pounds too. And on, on top of that, you have the crypto accounts as well. I'm yet to see any of our traditional banks give us such versatility as to operating not only with fiat, but with crypto too. I would really want that. So buying crypto, selling, holding, moving it between different wallets and exchanges, and also storing my euros or dollars or British pounds all in the same place. This is what is on offer here. And on top of this, you get 15 euros for each person that you invite to the app. So since not too many people of my friends know about Capi, I will get to be the first one to share it with them. Even better. And most importantly, with Capi, you actually get a mnemonic phrase for each of the wallets that you create in there. You know, regardless whether it's USD Tether or Bitcoin, Ethereum, each of these wallets has a mnemonic phrase. This mnemonic phrase is actually what is keeping your private keys, meaning that you are indeed in full control of your wallet here. You can actually sweep a different wallet into the app or vice versa. You can take that mnemonic phrase from this app and you can use it with a different wallet, maybe one of your hardware wallets, and you want to actually sweep that wallet with that seed phrase that you're getting, that mnemonic phrase. This is what you do. So it is absolutely giving you 100% control over your capital. This is not just an app that is a mobile hot storage. It is in fact just like a cold storage. This is what I like about it. It is a hybrid, of course, because you access it on your mobile phone. So it, you know, when you are accessing it, you are connected. So it is a hybrid between hot and cold storage, but uh, definitely check it out. I do recommend it. The links are in the description. You can find out more about it, see their social media and everything else. Another thing that I want to say is uh, if you actually haven't already sold, uh, if, you know, if you haven't uh, exited your altcoin positions and probably right now you're seeing losses of more than 80% on some of these altcoins. At this point, uh, getting scared and selling in panic as we are uh, reaching the bottom of this market, as we are you know, reaching this capitulation level, many people are capitulating at this point. This is wrong, guys. At this point, you will just have to wait it out. And trust me, I've been through two previous bear markets. I know that waiting is the only way you can actually avoid losses. Uh, ideally, you should be selling at the beginning of this bear market. And I did post a lot of videos at the beginning of the bear market talking about this bear market, talking even about it probably going for more than a year. This was back in October, November last year when I was uh, doing these videos. So for those of you who are following me you know that if you are new to my channel then make sure you subscribe hit the notifications so that you know when I'm posting videos because in my market analysis I do talk about these things but even if you've already missed that train you know it's too late now to be selling just wait it out uh, do not get tempted to be selling at the first minor pump of 20% or something like that because if you are down 80% already on your investment uh, a 20 percent jump from here is not going to recover it you will need twice more than the 80 percent you lost you will need 160 percent gains in order to actually recover this uh, uh, you know 80 percent and then if you want to go into profit then you need to wait for even higher gains this will happen during the next bull cycle and the markets are cyclical no matter what everyone is trying to tell you and what other people are trying to say how we're going to stay in a bear cycle for four 
four years or three years or anything like that. Typically, Bitcoin uh, bull markets and bear markets are about a couple of years each. So around four years we have of a cycle. So now that we are already six, seven, eight months into this bear cycle, we probably have another year or something like that. But also, we are not going to be only going down. We will have a relief rally. This is when prices will go, you know, they will get stopped at some resistance level, probably around 40,000 or something like that. But going to the 30,000s and even in the 40,000s over the course of the next six months is a possibility. It might not be the most probable scenario for right now, but it is a possibility. So you don't really want to be capitulating at the lowest levels. At least if you're going to be exiting, you want to be exiting when we have a slight recovery. So on the way up, not on the way down. And ideally, you will have enough patience and uh, perseverance to actually wait until the next bull cycle when you will be seeing more profits and you will get into profit despite all of the losses. This is how I'm going to end this video. We're going to do more market analysis in the follow up episodes. Now, a quick announcement about my giveaway before I leave you. Yes, as promised, I am running a giveaway for my 500th episode. Uh, this is going to be three prizes. The top price is a Ledger Nano S, of course. Then we have the second prize, which is $70 in uh, Cardano. Then we have a third prize, which will be $50 in Solana. All right, so these are the th top prizes, three prizes. All you have to do is leave as many comments as you can on all of my videos from now until the end of the month. We only have ten, about 10 days left until the end of the month. Actually, it's slightly more than 10 days, but I will not be posting a video every day because as I said, I will be traveling. So it will be about five to six videos from now until the end of the month. I want to see as many comments, likes, and shares on my videos. Of course, you also have to be a subscriber and make sure that you hit the notifications so that you know when I'm posting a video. Don't miss any of my next videos until the end of the month. And of course, the people with the most comments are the ones that will be winning this. So good luck to everyone. Thanks for staying until the end of the video. All right, well, this wraps up today's episode, everyone. Like and share it and also subscribe if you're new to this channel. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. And while you're here, pick another one of my videos.